Just In Case Fire Limited was introduced to the Special Task Force in the Kingdom of Bahrain in April 2010 through their distributor in the Middle East, Amman International. The goal was to solve a problem with Shiite youth gangs, disrupting the transportation infrastructure in the city of Manama. The youth gangs would place tires across major roadways and light them on fire. Traffic was disrupted, and it would take considerable time to have the fire trucks arrive to clear the roadway for the congested traffic. Just in case fire founder Mark Hayes was asked to provide a live fire demonstration at the training facility of the Special Task Force. He would put out various fires with the company's patent-pending electric fire caddy and flame-out, a firefighting foam that is UL, NFPA, and U.S. Forestry approved as a non-toxic, non-corrosive, and 100% biodegradable product. The head commander was given the hose to put out a wood fire and feel the power of the 120 PSI system. He put out the fire in seven seconds. The second fire demonstration was on 10 tires that were ignited with a gas and diesel mixture and were allowed to burn so the fire became fully engaged. The outside temperature was 36 degrees Celsius, which assisted in intensifying the heat of the tire fires. Using the electric fire caddy with a 40-gallon tank, Mark put out the fires in just over a minute. Mark also grabbed the tires that were just put out to demonstrate how effective flame-out is at eliminating the heat. The next demonstration was on a fully-fledged car fire that was filled with wood and tires and doused with gas and diesel. It took only 38 seconds to put out this intense vehicle fire. In the background, you can hear the commander applaud and then walk up to the car to confirm that the entire fire was fully extinguished. The commander asked Just In Case Fire to immediately install prototype systems in two of their SUVs to test in a live fire situation that night. The systems were temporarily installed in the back of their SUVs. Officers that were scheduled that night in those vehicles were trained on how to use the system. The systems were used for two weeks and Just In Case Fire has now been commissioned to install a customized system that is designed for their weather conditions and vehicle requirements in their fleet of 160 SUVs. The 34-gallon customized 12-volt electric fire caddy will be connected to the vehicle's battery, allowing for a continual charge. The full retrofit of the 160 SUVs will begin in the spring of 2011. On May 31, 2010, the General Directorate of Civil Defense for the Kingdom of Bahrain provided a certified letter of approval allowing the fire caddy equipment and flame-out foam to be sold within the